Hello investors, this is a video on Chemplast Sanmar. This video is brought to you by Smart Investor. Subscribe to our channel, like and share our videos. Click on the bell icon for new video notifications. The video is prepared based on the investor presentation company submitted in the month of January 22. The performance of the company for Q3 and 9 month FY22 are given here. Revenues are up by 33% at 1,452 crores. For nine months, it is 4,085 crores, a 66% jump on year on year. EBITDA is up 353 crores for Q3, and for nine months, it is 850 crores, up by 67% year on year. Profit after tax is at 237 crores for quarter three, FI22, while for nine months, it is standing at 417 crores, 807% growth year on year. The growth in margin is 10.2%. Key highlights for the quarters include registered strong growth on account of higher realization per ton for key products, specialty paste PVC resin, suspension PVC, chloromethanes, and caustic soda. On the volume front, when the caustic soda volume for the quarter was higher, specialty paste PVC and suspension PV volumes were lower on a year-on-year -year basis, primarily due to restrictions and around operations of downstream units in the NCR region due to poor quality and extended monsoon during Q3 of I-22 respectively. And demand for growth for specialty PVC and suspension PVC has picked up strongly and the built-up inventory is expected to get diluted very shortly. Companies started dispatches of the two newly commercialized products of custom manufactured chemicals business. The product pipeline is strong with a number of projects at various stages of commercialization. Companies received the environmental clearance for proposed specialty paste PVC expansion, received clearance for 70,000 tons per annum. We are going to ahead with 35 tons per annum expansion as phase one. Depotting of suspension PVC capacity by 10% is expected to come fully online by Q1 FI23. It's a phased but important in part of which is already completed. Company continues to be debt free on a standalone basis and on a consolidated basis. Performance highlights for Q3 and 9 month FI22 total revenues up by 1452, a growth of 33%. EBITDA is at 353 crores, up by 24%. Profit after tax stands at 237 crores. For the Q3 FI22, a growth of 16%. For the nine months, total revenues were up by 4,085 crores, a jump of 66%, 850 crores EBITDA, a jump of 67%, and profit after tax of 417 crores, a jump of 807%. Kempla Sarmar, a leading commercial manufa chemical manufacturer in India, number one in paste PVC resin, leading player in custom manufacturing, manufacturer of cask soda in South India, oldest manufacturers of chloromethanes in India, number one manufacturers of hydrogen peroxide in South India, manufacturer of SPVC in South India and second largest in India. The consolidated revenue was at 3,800 crores for FI21 and it's already crossed and currently it is 4,085 crores for the nine months FI22. Sanmar Group is amongst the oldest and most prominent corporate groups in South India. The company has four manufacturing facilities with a high degree of backward integration. The company boasts of experienced management team with deep domain expertise. The company has a diversified product portfolio as can be seen here, specialty PV chemicals, specialty paste PV resins which is used in footwear, auto upholstery, mats and leather. Custom manufacturing includes pharma, agrochemicals, API molecules, and chemicals. Caustic soda is used in paper, textiles, chemicals, which has a capacity of 1,19,000 million tons per annum. Hydrogen peroxide, which is used in paper, pulp, textile park, effluent treatment, disinfectants. The production capacity is 34,000 million tons per annum. Chloromethanes, which is used in pharma, agrochemicals, refrigerations. The production capacity is 35,000 million tons per annum. Suspension PVC is at irrigation, urban infra, real estate. 
capacity is at 66 percent specialty based PhD results is up 9.3 percent it has got 143 tons per annum Indian demand domestic demand 50 percent imports 40 percent companies number one in specialty based PVC residence in India, it has 66,000 tons per annum installed capacity at Metur and 35,000 tons per annum at Kadalur, which is going to be operational by FI22. Manufactured at Metur Chemicals in 1968. Primary raw materials include BCM, EDC, ethylene, and chlorine. Manufactures significant portion of EDC and all of BCM components in house. The company has high repeat business and customer stickiness. Custom manufactured chemicals industry overview US billion six US dollar six billion Indian market size in FI21 expected to grow at 9.1% CAGR. The critical growth drivers include availability of skilled economic labor, surge in global food grain demand, growth in demand for drugs and hygiene products, India to be a focus region or companies move away from China for custom manufacturing. The recently announced PLA scheme for bulk drug products, high penetration of AP manufacturing in India, all augurs well for the growth of custom manufactured chemicals by the company. The company has 1068 million tons per annum installed capacity at Berigai and is setting up a multi-purpose facility in stages block 1 and 2. Companies engaged in custom manufacturing of advanced intermediaries to global innovator companies in the agrochemical, pharmaceutical, and fine chemical end users. Capabilities include wide range of chemistry capabilities such as cyanation, hydrogeneration, and liquid purification. Non-specialty products include caustic soda, hydrogen peroxide, and chloromethanes. Company is number three in manufacture of caustic soda in southern India region, and number one in manufacture of hydrogen peroxide in southern region and one of the oldest manufacturers of chloromethanes in India. Suspension PVC, industry ORU, 3,340 tons per annum. Indian demand in the FI20 is likely to grow at 7.7 CHR. The company has a manufacturing process of 300,000 tons per annum installed capacity at Kadalur. The debottlenecking is underway for 31,000 tons per annum. This is the facility from 2009 has a capital import terminal VCM imports for PVC production. The company sees sustainable opportunity across products. Entry barriers are very high in PVC paste. In custom manufacturing, also the entry barriers are pretty high. In non-specialty chemicals is medium and suspension PVC has a very big opportunity for the company. Key highlights leadership position across wide rare products, growing end user applications by a stable consumer base. High entry barriers, based PVC manufacturing technology is closely guarded and is not available on license. The custom manufacturing industry has significant entry barriers, including custom validation and approvals, expectation from customers for process innovation and cost reduction. High quality standards and stringent specifications. The company has highly integrated operations, enabling greater value addition and flexibility in operations, resulting in superior yields. The company has a robust expansion pipeline to benefit from structural changes in the supply of site dynamics. Ability to expand at a faster pace due to surplus land and infrastructure. The company has established and stable relationship with suppliers, has marquee parentage, eminent board of directors, and experienced management team with domain expertise. The company enjoys a healthy financial performance and robust balance sheets with negligible debt. Quality manufacturing facilities of this include in Metro, Tamil Nadu, Beringale, Tamil Nadu, and Karakal, Pondicherry. And CCBL is produced at Kadalur, Tamil Nadu. All the manufacturing facilities are ISO 14001 certified and ISO 9001 2015, ISO 45001 2015. The company has a very high degree of backward integration with coal, salt, and gas. And expected to backward integration based PVC. Custom manufacturing, caustic soda, hydrogen peroxide, chloromethane, and suspension. Company strategy include expansion of the production facilities of paste PVC capacity to benefit from structural changes, expand custom manufacturing capabilities to leverage chemistry process, research, and existing manufacturing capacities, 
improving financial performance through focus on operational efficiencies, debottlenecking of suspension PVC facility to improve operational metrics. The company has a capex plan as shown here. It is suspension PVC regime expected to be 2022, based PVC capacity to grow by 2024, and custom manufacturing is likely to set up with a multi-purpose facility in phases. Expected to have uh, 340 estimated capex in custom manufacturing, 256 crores capex in based PVC, and 23.5 crore estimated capex in suspension PVC resin expansion. The company has a healthy promoter holding with mutual funds and FIs holding a larger share. Mutual funds are stable at 22% and FIs have increased to 7% in the last quarter. The share performance of the company for the last six months is down 4.25% and is currently trading at 537 as of 9th March 2022. Last one month it has fallen down. So why are we recommending this share? The company is a leading player in PVC and specialty chemicals. Promoter holding is high at 58%. The share has a year high of 826 and a year low of 463, which has hit recently on 23rd February. The company has issued IPO shares and listed at 541 rupees. Company share price is likely to stable around 500. Investors with long-term horizon can buy at 700, the target price of can buy around 500 levels for the target price of 750 in the next one year. The company is a steady performer with very low debt. In view of the growth plans and expansion of capacities, we recommend investors to buy Kempla Sunmar shares on all declines. Thank you for watching this video.